When you are in recovery, when you've submitted to a process of recovery in your life, you're in the center of God's will. You're doing something that pleases Him. Every time you seek recovery in your life, you're doing something that honors God. And also, when you help someone else along the way who needs recovery, you're doing the work of God. Listen to Galatians 6, verses 1 through 3. My beloved friends, reading from the Passion Translation, if you see a believer who is overtaken with a fall, this is messed up in some way, there's a failure, there's a brokenness, an injury in their lives. If you see a believer who's overtaken with a fault, may the one who overflows with the Spirit seek to restore, or another word that could be used there is to recover, seek to recover him, win him over with gentle words, which will open his heart to you and will keep you from exalting yourself over him. Love empowers us to fulfill the law of the anointed one, that's Jesus, as we carry each other's troubles. If you think you're too important to stoop down to help another, you're living in deception. That passage says that not only does God restore us, but God uses us to stoop down as God stoops down to restore us. He calls us to stoop down and pick up those that are fallen and restore them as well. Restoration and recovery is something that is very big in the heart of God. It is something that you and I need. It is something that God gives. God wants to give it to you, and God wants to use you as an expression of that recovery to other people. 